Well, hello, hello. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Uh, I thought that for today <coughs> we could do this reading on topic. Will you guys reconcile? So, uh, if you do have somebody in your mind that you have unfinished business with, this person disappeared or ghosted you or just you're not quite sure about what's happening with them, uh, this is the right reading for you. So, we will have a couple of piles here. And you will see what is going to transpire with this person, so do stay with me if you want to, but let's begin. Um, let's begin to extract the essence of this problem, of this person, of this issue that we have at hand. Let's see for the first file. Will you guys reconcile? Will you guys reconcile? Will you reconcile with this person? Will you reconcile? Page of Caps wanted to pop out, so it's a probable yes, already, but let's see. So, what I'm sensing strongly from this situation, you may be dealing with somebody who didn't really invest in your relationship. I feel like this person was, was very kind of stingy, you know. I feel like they didn't really put an effort when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you guys. Uh, it almost seemed like it was, you guys make uh, one step forward, they make... Uh, two steps backward, so it's like they were sabotaging, they weren't really contributing to the relationship, you know. Uh, what I'm sensing strongly from them, from this person, uh, is that at the times that you guys uh, wanted to make some type of connection, this person was uh, in a strong financial um, disability issue, you know. Uh, it was perhaps the situation that they uh, they were hired from their job or that they uh, perhaps get got some great cuts when it comes to their paycheck, when it comes to their income uh, and that was all contributing to the overall general feeling of instability with this person, you know. Uh, so that may be the reason, main reason why this connection didn't really progress forward, you know. Uh, you may have felt that this is moving at the snail's pace uh, and I feel like uh, also you guys may have also harbored some feelings of great resentment with this person because it was felt like you were all by yourself in this connection, you know. Uh, so I'm feeling that now you guys are currently very much shining. Perhaps you took a step back from this connection and, you know, glowed up. And this person is seeing your new, I don't know, clothes, energy, Mm, new haircut, whatever you guys changed, uh, it may be even as subtle as in, or, in your aura, you know, but this person is sensing this renewed uh, and found sense of uh, self-worth and stability in you guys, and in the meanwhile, um, their own circumstance, circumstances in their life started to improve, you know, um, so I do feel this situation where you guys felt a lot of anger and obsession when it comes to this person as to just why one day open up to me, why are they procrastinating, why nothing is happening, this will take forever, you know, but I feel like this person was feeling this great sense of lack, you know, when it comes to you. I feel like they wouldn't be really in this perception of luck when it comes to any objective person, it's just when it comes to you guys, this person had some inferiority com complex, they didn't feel they were enough for this connection, uh, you know, so that was the main cause of the separation when it comes to this connection, you know, 
Mm. But I do them. I do see them uh, going out of this period, out of this self-imposed prison, and uh, coming into a much healthier uh, state of physicality and also mindset. Because I feel like as their finances begin to improve, because I do also feel that they probably got a promotion, a new job. Uh, new solid stream of income. Some, they did something in order to elevate their, their financial status. So uh, they basically went from zero to something very stable. And now as a con consequence we have that their mindset and their um, mental states are much better and improved. And now this person is much more ready to invest, to contribute, to be an equal. Uh, contributor in this relationship they are ready to um, give you guys what they saw that you deserve at the beginning uh, it's just that previously they didn't have this self-confidence and I feel like it's just with regards to you uh, in other aspects of their life this person is very confident it was just that they were wondering if if what they had was enough for you guys so uh, that's the reason that, uh, and also I do feel uh, like that this person had some residual baggage that they never really managed to uh, release. So, uh, but I see that they see you as a very objective, uh, wise, uh, logically driven person who uh, can really see the uh, both sides of arguments and both side of, sides of uh, situation. And this person is now counting with that. So my answer would be yes, for this part you will uh, reconcile because uh, it's like, um, see, the, see it in this way, you guys are not now gonna reap your positive karma for uh, everything that you gave for this relationship, you know, and this person is now as a little bit part of their negative karma gonna step up uh, in this connection in this situation ship and that will require a little bit of going out of their comfort zone so that may may be part of their karma uh, when it comes to this situation when it comes to why you guys uh, didn't really succeed previously and why you will succeed this time so uh, I hope this makes sense for you guys so I feel like you will now get an entirely new and much more mature side of this person because I do sense they were also very much reckless before. Uh, you really didn't know what you could expect uh, from them uh, and that was also the factor that didn't really didn't really benefit the situation but I do see that uh, many positive changes are coming to this relationship to this connection you know and all the toxic toxicity that prevented this connection from going further uh, will be stopped or nullified when it comes to this connection because I do feel that this person is returning as an entirely changed person I feel like you will also see that in their appearance in their energy in their aura because they are mu very much working on their stability so uh, so it's a big positive yes for this pile you will reconcile with this person and do expect this relationship to be an entirely changed one so whatever you had in the past that relationship that type of a relationship is gone and over with and now you guys will have a new phase uh, in this relationship uh, you will reap your positive karma and the renewal uh, you know and this person, if they are not already there, they are on their way. Because I see that they, that they didn't rush to uh, fix the situation, because they do have this feeling that this time they have to be sure if they will return to you. So, uh, yes, but this was our first pile. If you like this reading, like and subscribe, and thank you for listening. Let's go a little bit further. Second file. Will you guys reconcile? Second file. Will you guys reconcile?
another positive file we have here. Okay. I feel like this is a situation that didn't really progress as uh, it should have because it required one of the people in the connection to step up. Uh, to make something different, to make something more than they usually do, to make perhaps something more than they are usually required until now to do in their relationships. Perhaps in their history they had people who would do the majority of relationship work for them. So uh, this is a little bit lazy type of a person, you know. Uh, but I do feel there is a great love in this connection, that there is also perhaps th this be effect type of love uh, which is really you know capable to remain and uh, to endure all the life's ups and down and difficulties you know uh, however I do feel like this person was too slow uh, perhaps they missed an opportunity after opportunity and you guys were you know like what the heck you know I feel like you even lost the hope in this situation uh, you became very strict with this person you know uh, because I feel like you had to learn to establish some type of stronger boundaries I feel like it was a learning process in this connection for you guys it was to learn to establish some type of uh, higher and stronger boundaries and to be more strict toward people and when it comes to this other person they had to learn to be more proactive, more assertive, more masculine uh, masculine energized when it comes to their love connection because I feel like this person, whoever they are they are too much in their feminine side, you know they can be uh, the guy, you know, it's really not important or a woman, gender and orientation here doesn't matter but they were too much in their feminine aspect of personality and that truly really wasn't benefiting this connection, you know uh, so I feel like this pe person is now sitting at home feeling bored, you know, because they missed an opportunity with you guys, so um, their obsession is growing as the time is passing here, you know, um, and I feel like uh, they can't believe now the way that they let this uh, connection slip them by, you know, uh, so this is something really amazing. We do have Aquarius, Capricorn and Scorpio placements as well as Cancer here, uh, you know, but this person is really, if this is somebody who rejected you in the past, they are really so very eager and uh, obsessive to let you know, uh, to make you guys know that it's not that they were, weren't interested in you, but it that it's the case that j they just wanted to slow down the connection, if that makes sense. Uh, although I feel like for you guys it may have looked like a rejection, but it wasn't a rejection, it was just um, their way of uh, procrastinating uh, until they are in a much more stable uh, circumstance in surrounding themselves, you know, so uh, that's also amazing, so I do feel like this connection has lost its uh, momentum in the situation and you guys are really at the end of your nerves, you know, uh, I feel like you have no hope left and you are now, you have accepted the idea that this is over, uh, done with, perhaps for some of you this will be your divorced partner, you know. Um, but I feel like this person won't be able to uh, leave this connection, you know. They won't be able to leave it in the past. Although they do, they may think that it, it, it may be an easy way out of this problem that they have, you know. Like it's easier to uh, do the easier thing instead of stepping up their game. Because I do feel like they feel they really have to man up or woman up here because what they uh, implemented for the situation until now was just toxic, uh, you know, not grounded enough, it was really childish, immature, uh, I feel like you saw the each bad side of this person, you know, uh, and for some of you, you sticked 
uh, besides them. Uh, even though you saw these, these things and now this person is realizing that, that perhaps you guys are the ones that could handle them the most. Uh, among all people you have the most uh, capacity to handle this person with all the good and bad and uh, the ugly, you know, uh, along with beautiful things. So uh, this person thinks like currently when will I find this again, you know, uh, when will I, will I find a person that can uh, handle me uh, in this intensity, you know, uh, I hope that's, that makes sense. So I feel like this person is planning to return uh, and they are currently even so eager to do so uh, that they may be thinking how am I gonna, how am I gonna make my approach without uh, looking desperate or overly eager or uh, overly pathetic in my attempt, you know, so I feel like this is the main thing for this person, how do I do this without uh, appearing too pathetic or uh, too vulnerable, too weak for this person, because for many of you I'm feeling this person, person has this really phobia of appearing weak in front of the other person and especially in front of you uh, you know because I do feel that their communication until now was very either coldish or too rational or non-existent not, not enough it was really sabotaging this connection perhaps they uh, acted in a very rough way uh, they really didn't really have the sensibility for you guys, for what you passed through. Uh, I feel like if this person knew your past, uh, they would be very, how do I say this, disappointed in, in themselves uh, how, for how they treated you. I mean, they already are, but they would be even more uh, if they knew uh, what was their contribution to, to you guys is uh, already somewhat uh, turbulent life, if that makes sense. So uh, I feel like this person is getting a hunch of all that and coming to the realization just uh, right now, you know. Uh, so uh, it's just amazing how they are awakening because until now I feel like didn't, they didn't see correctly this connection or you. Uh, and they weren't also eager, weren't eager or willing to give you the entire truth of the connection and now they are just sitting by themselves all alone uh, and just wondering how could I let it, let this all that I had with this person that could really handle and hold me, you know, how could I let this all slip away, you know, I was such an idiot, I was such a more on uh, I'm really inadequate uh, I do deserve for this person to leave me so I do feel like this person is currently having these little bit negatively based thoughts but they will uh, go out of them and they will start to communicate properly you know uh, because do, they do want to uh, transcend this period of uh, lack of movement between you guys and start, for God's sake, something more faster, assertive, uh, you know, I feel like the second time this connection comes, uh, it will be fast, easy, fluid, you know, you guys will be just wondering, is this the same connection that was going at the snail's pace and nothing was moving before, you know, so, uh, yes, but this was our second reading, yes, you guys will reconcile, it will be all good with this connection, uh, you can have peace when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this relationship uh, because this person is already restless and on their nerves uh, when it comes to how to fix uh, this connection, how to get back in your good graces, you know uh, because they do know that they have fallen from the throne and they want to get back on it as soon as possible, so uh, Yes, but I hope you like this reading, if you did like and subscribe and thank you for this.